What's up everyone? Welcome back to Canada California Outdoors. This is our new four-wheel camper. Well, it's used, but it's new to us. So if you're new to the channel, we put a new video out every Sunday, so be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Um, we're gonna give you a quick tour and show you around. So this is our 2016 Hawk four-wheel camper. We just picked it up a couple weeks ago, and uh, so far, this is our first time taking it out, and I love it. The only thing is this sticks out a bit, but we're just gonna call it the Big Butt Crew. Uh, we have it on a 2021 Toyota Tundra. We've done a couple upgrades to the suspension. We put in a TRD rear sway bar and some Firestone Ride Right airbags. So, give you a quick tour on the outside. So on the passenger side, refrigerator vent so I don't really store anything in here I'm not sure if I'm going to or not um, we do have a window uh, for the front dinette and a Fiamma F45 S awning so I'll pull this thing out and show you guys we have amber lights to turn on keep the bugs away at night and then here is our propane and it's stuck there we go so we got an extension cord in there and then our two propane tanks So the driver's side is another window. This is our furnace, runs on propane. Right here is our water. So that's our drinking water and everything like that. And we can hook up to a site right here as well. So what I do is I have a water filter and a little extension hose that goes right here and I just fill it up till it's full and I'll show you the gauges inside. That's the vent for the furnace. Right here's our shore power. And this is our outdoor shower, which we have an attachment for inside the cab. I haven't used it yet to check it out. One more thing on the driver's side is this is the gray water drain and maiden voyage. I already lost the cap for it, so that's awesome. So I already gotta order something for it. How you doing, buddy? All right, so this is the back. We have some LED lights, another amber, and uh, we'll go inside and check it out. So this is the front dinette. I'm gonna show you guys how to pop the top and uh, give you a full tour of the inside because this thing is so huge. So it's gonna take probably like 30 minutes to explain everything. The first thing we do is we take all the latches off. I believe there's six of them. So we got some countertop storage with a popcorn maker in it, some extra towels and pillowcases. This is our coffee and snacks drawer. So we got our coffee mugs, a whole bunch of black rifle, jet boil, and a French press in the back. This is all of our uh, cooking stuff. It looks like it tipped over. We got some seasonings, foil, um, hot chocolate, and just kind of cooking utensils and things like that in here. Popping out. That's a ride. All right, so silverware drawer. There's a little lock on there as well. We got some more storage in here. So this is all of our pots and pans, and kind of trash bags, stuff like that. Right here is the furnace. Down here is our dual deep charge batteries. This is our ZAMP solar panel. 
um, I'm sorry, not the panel, the uh, controller that shows you how many volts and everything it's using. Uh, we got some power right here for like, cigarette lighters so you can plug in all that stuff. Uh, we got outlets right there. I believe those only work if you're connected to shore power. That's our thermostat. Uh, so this is a water pump, so if we want to use water, just turn it on. It's right here. Takes a couple seconds to go. The sink, just flip this up, and I'm not gonna turn it on because I don't have the gray water attachment for it right now, but we got a couple dishwashing things. Here's the stove. Probably only gonna use this if it's bad weather. We got a portable stove. All right, underneath the refrigerator. Oh, turn that off. Underneath the refrigerator is where we have all of our uh, plates and bowls and stuff like that. The refrigerator is the Dometic 85 liter. Just got a few things in here right now. Just coffee creamers, road beers, some meat and cheese. Um, be sure that you push really hard like right there it's not closed all the way so i made that mistake and the whole uh camper smelled like uh bad carne asada because that's what it was got a fire extinguisher mount right here so when this thing pulls out it's queen size bed uh plenty of room slept in it last night and it was actually pretty comfy i also put um one of these uh kind of egg crate mattress liner things on it. So that helped a lot because the cushions are a little stiff, but uh, slept great. And this is the front dinette. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to set up. Uh, let me get Hank off of here. Come on, buddy. Thank you. So these are the back cushions. There's blocks right here. And these are the seat cushions. So this actually is the uh, table right here. Pops out, slides on top. Move that out of the way. So the arm for the dinette just slides in. Right there. And then we twist this little knob. Table's got a pin on it. That slides in as well. Just loosen that up. And this will swivel and move however you need it to. So the backs, these just slide out, pop up. One more thing is these have emergency exits on them, so you just pull the handles, window pops right out. We got some extra storage. Those are the front turnbuckles right there. Some more storage right here. I found that propane fits perfectly in there for the jet boil and the stove. Just kind of random camping stuff in here. We got the shower, uh, lantern, uh, bear spray, just things like that. Be able to fit a case of water here. That's the other side. Uh, front turnbuckles. These are the rear turnbuckles. The access one on each side. And then underneath here, we also have some more storage. So we have. Uh, a little beach canopy and a little portable table as well so for beach camping we can use that just pop the cushions back on so it sets up really fast pretty easy boom front dinette just move the bed out of the way we have a one roof fan. This thing actually has some pretty good power to it and cools this whole thing off. So right now, it's not, oh yeah, it's blowing in. So that's cooling it off a lot and then a lot of people will put it in reverse and it will suck the air out. So the sides will move in 
when you're putting the top down so it makes it easier to put the top down but with those bungee cords we don't really need to use that so that's pretty much everything inside we really like it so far um, it's hopefully gonna give us a ton of adventures out of it we're trying to get a lot of use out of it but work and baby and everything like that so who knows next time we'll go out but for now this thing's awesome I highly suggest you get one or two or whatever just get outside so this is how easy it is to take the awning down like under a minute to do well that's pretty much it for our rig so thanks for coming by and watching this we're just gonna be sitting right here watching the river go by so thanks for watching and again if you like our content be sure to like and subscribe check us out on instagram and until next time get outside